Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is looking at Pano 2 VR version 5 and how to add a custom image to your context menu. Now this is a tour from the examples page uh, from our website and when I right button click you can see the context menu and it can tell you that it's created with Pano 2 VR but what I want to do is add a custom image and what I mean by that is on this um, particular tab when I right button click here we go you can see the image and we've got the create with Pano 2 VR and when we click on the image it will actually take us to the, uh, the Garden Gnome website. Right, so that's what we want to um, achieve, so how do we do it? Right, we're going to start a new project and as soon as it opens and loads I'm just going to go into full screen mode and then I'm going to add an HTML5 output. There we go. Right, now for speed what I've done is I've got a, a skin that I've saved but it's blank, there's nothing in there and this is it. Now the reason why I'm going to use a skin is because I want to put our image in the skin because when we pr uh, when we uh, produce the output it will automatically put the image in the images folder which is where I want it and because it's going through Pano 2 VR Pano 2 VR knows it's there and it'll preload it when the panorama opens so when you right button click the image is going to be available uh, to be displayed okay so let's just go and get my image I'm going to uh, use this SVG drop it in the skin as you can see it's quite large but that's not to worry for the second I'm just going to tidy up the skin by um, positioning it X Y to 0 0 and what I want to do as well is I want to change its name because at the moment if I was to save that now the file name for the SVG graphic will be SVG 1 and I want it to be logo so that's what we're going to do is change its name there I don't want it to be visible in the output I only want it to be visible on the right button click so I'm going to deselect visible and I don't want to see it in the skin editor so I'm going to deselect the visibility in the file tree so that's all the things I needed to adjust right okay um, so where do we put this or how do we get it in the context menu if you look under the control tab and expand it you'll see that we've got the context menu menu um, I can select add full screen item I can also select to hide about Pano 2 VR because this is the pro version um, and we can also add uh, custom text and URLs to this context menu as well and this is where we're going to add our image and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use an image tag so it's a bit of code but it's relatively simple to do so I'll go back to um, the desktop and I'm going to open up um, my web browser and I'm going to do a search for image tag there we go right so when that finally opens we can see that HTML um, W3 schools is quite a good website I, I use quite a lot and when we open it up you can see here is the image tag now whilst it's in this state in the website it's easy to, to talk you through it this is the image it's going to load so smiley.gif if it doesn't load that it's going to display alternative text and this is going to say smiley face and here is where we define the height and the width of the image so I'm just going to select that I'm going to command C because I'm on the Mac it could be control C on the PC and I'm putting up Pano 2 VR double clicking where it says text and I'm going to command V or Control V on the PC to paste it in. Now, what I want to do is just make some changes here um, because obviously I don't want to display a smiley GIF. What I want to do is set the file path to images because that's where my SVG is going to be, and we've called it logo.svg. Um, and the alternative text I'm just going to put in garden garden gnome and for the height and width well the width is more important if you're going to have the about pano 2 VR you really want your image to be 135 pixels wide or more um, if you have it anything less then it will move to one side it will be offset and as my logo is square I'm just going to use the height to be 135 pixels as well and I'm going to set the um, URL which is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash and that's ggnome dot com so that will open up our website okay if I now publish this so I need to save it first and then we'll publish and when we open it up 
there's our panorama and when we right button click there's the logo I click on the logo and there is our website there you go that's how to add a custom logo to your panoramas thanks for watching